Today I want to look at the sample edit screen and go over all the available functions or edit capabilities that you can use to process your sample. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. If I have created some chops for my loop, I can select what slice I would like to edit. I can go into process. Now the available um, process functions options are a little less when you're in slice. So I'm going to go back to all and just look at my loop as a whole and start off and take a look at what we have here in process. Number one, I have discard. So what I can do with discard is if I say just want this right here, which I believe is a snare, I can select it, go into process, discard, and all I'm left with is a snare. The next thing I have in my process is delete. It's similar to discard, but let's say opposite because now what I have highlighted will be deleted and everything what's outside of the star and point markers will remain rather than everything outside the star and point markers being deleted or discarded. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. I hit delete and now I have my sample loop with that uh, snare removed. Next up is silence. So this will kind of be like delete, but rather than moving everything that's outside of the start and endpoint marker and pushing them together, this will silence my snare that I have right here and keep everything in place where it's at. So let's go ahead and try that. Silence. There I go. I gotta pull my start and endpoint markers back to hear the results. Uh, next up is extract. So if I want to keep my entire loop and just create a new sample out of what is highlighted between my start and endpoint, I use extract. So now I have all this still remaining. And then if I scroll over, I have a new sample, which was extracted from my original loop. Normalize. Now, if I want to simply just change the overall volume of my sample, I go ahead and use normalize. Reverse seems pretty uh, self explanatory. You can do fade in and fade out on your sample. Pitch shift can also be applied to your sample here within the process. Next up is time stretch. Let me change this to significantly. Gain change. I could change the overall volume of my sample with a little more control. If I need to make a copy of my sample, I could do so here. I now have two copies. Bit reduction is also possible here. Let's go the extreme and see what that sounds like. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's go 8 bits and see that.
if I don't want my sample to be in stereo, I can change it to mono. That's possibly here. Now I can choose whether I want just the audio information from the left ear, or I can choose the right ear, or I can sum them both together. It does make it another copy, and so if I scroll over, here it is in a mono. Uh, so there you go, and that was a look at all the available edit capabilities you can use to process your samples in the sample.